Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, we didn't fall. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing slash put together, whatever you want to call it. I ordered a sofa bed from Wayfair and I'm super excited because this is going in the babe cave, AKA my beauty room. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and use the last bit of energy I have to drag these up the stairs and then we'll get started. Okay, we made it. Broke a sweat, as you can see, I've changed into something more free. His girl was hot. Like that. I feel like I just hit the gym. But this only came in two boxes, so I think I should finish this in like 30 minutes. Honestly speaking, my couch downstairs was a sectional, and that came in like five boxes. Took me under an hour by myself. So let's get started. Super excited. I'm just kind of scared about the color. It's supposed to be like this like green, like limeish green. I don't really know. But I hope the color is true to color, because who's who's returning this like who's packaging this bag not me got my handy dandy box cutter shout out to Tarjay <laughs> bro when I used to work there I swear I was take a box cutter home accidentally every single shift so now I have so many and ever since I moved they have come in handy <laughs> looking good but what's going on in here okay I open it upside down okay let's oh I thought I broke something I'm gonna try to flip it over oh I'm gonna have it the right way the first time darn Baby, this is not gonna work. Cause why is the box? Why is the box already falling apart? Dang, Wayfair, do better. So, yeah, let me slide this box out of the room to create space. Cause, girl. I love this color. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. These are instructions. This looks pretty straightforward. I don't think I will need instructions, but let me grab my little handy dandy tools slash screws. Let's see what they got in here for me. These are just the feet and some screws close this now oh i'm scared why is it not closing mm. oh i'm scared i don't want to like break it oh okay all right what's this i guess this is the sectional part oh wait but i gotta put the feet on right Oh, 
Whoa. <laughs> Bruh, it just sprang open and then broke my knee. Okay. Instructions. Let's read. Step one. Excuse me. You know, I miss back in the day when they actually put instructions and words. This is literally just pictures. Like, excuse me. Okay. Anywho, let me go ahead and open the second box because I need the second piece. Second box. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no! Okay, 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 we didn't fall. So, course instructions. I'm supposed to put the feet. Step one, I guess, is to just lay it flat like this. Step two is to put the feet on. Um, I'm a little confused as to how to put the feet on. I see like two little inserts here but the math is not really mathing, like. All right, y'all, it's the next day and we are finally ready to put this couch together. Basically, I was confused yesterday because I was missing a whole box, okay? I wasn't stupid. So here we are, the box got delivered and we're about to continue. All right, guys, so we are back and this is the missing piece that came in the box today. Um, granted, I'm still very much confused because it's telling me that I need to put these feet on this one. But when you turn it around, there's no slots for the feet. I even went as far as cutting a little slot to see if maybe they just forgot to leave an opening because with my sectional downstairs, they forgot to leave openings for some things. So I had to like slice it and, you know, slice and dice and finesse. But there's literally no openings even when I sliced it. So I guess I'm just not going to put feet on those parts. Um, yeah, we're just gonna ignore the feet for now because I'm not understanding. <laughs> I want the sectional side to be like over there since the closet is here and we need to be able to open that. So we're gonna move this up. <sighs> Man, this this was heavy. Like, y'all should have seen me pulling this one up the stairs. Woo, child. And I did not measure. <laughs> child, I did not measure this room so we're just gonna hope that this couch fits in perfectly but i don't know it looks weird already like there's nothing there's nothing i'm gonna slice slice this one just to be sure but i don't know man maybe i'm gonna slice like a bigger hole what is this Wait, I, <gasps> okay, I found the hole. All right, so I guess I have to make a bigger cut. The place where I cut in the middle on this side, I don't know, basically the hole is like not in the middle. So when I cut it, I didn't see it. But when I cut a bigger hole on that one, I found the holes. So I'm about to really quickly screw these on. And it also comes with a little tool here. like this so if you need to you know further tighten it up you can do that and then I assume you're supposed to put these like this quick and easy quick and easy take the screw take your circle thingy my bob Put the screw through, like so, like that. Take your foot thingy ma bob, put it through the hole, like that. And there you go, that's your setup. Then you gotta slip your hole here so you can find the little entrance for the screw. This is the most annoying part.
All right, so these are the arms and they require you to put the little footsies on them too, but this is a lot better because I don't have to play hide and go seek with the freaking foot. Like, oh my gosh. The chair was a little bit harder than I expected. Sometimes I made a slit and I was way far off from where the hole was like, oh my gosh. But we're almost there. Okay, so the feet are on. All the feet are on. Now all we gotta do is just put it together. So I'm gonna switch the angle and let's get it. I wish they labeled the pieces, you know? That's really what I wish they did because life would have been so much easier. Tell me which one's the left. Tell me which one's the right. Okay, I see what it is. So you have to lift this up and put it, right? Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, flipping this over because I don't have time. And I'm going to try to line up the hooks. Girl, I'm breaking a sweat. Is this it? It clicked. Okay, so we have one arm on. Next, I'm gonna move oh, this piece, which is the rest of the couch. Here we go, some more hooks. Um. These ones look like they're easier to match up though. Like dang Wayfair, who told you I want to lift this up to match up the hooks? Like bro, not everybody has people to help them put together furniture. So I'm gonna line them up. <laughs> Come on, would that do it? Okay, so as you guys can see, these are the hooks I'm talking about. So you kind of have to match them up and slide it down hard enough so they click and they're locked in. And these are the bags, for the shorter side. Let's see. Yep, just slide them in. To cover up this remaining spot. I thought, ah! Okay, so the couch is done. I'm just gonna have some pillows. I thought that this came with like two pillows, but it doesn't, unfortunately. I'm gonna like buy another pair of throw pillows, a different color though, just to make it complete, but. <sighs> Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. Can you tell? Okay, so it's 30, it's 30, it's 30. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. For reference, I'm five foot six and my feet are up. Barely making it though, but it's up. It's up. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Yeah. You can fit me in this little bit of space right here. Let's try out the pull-out bed option. So this is actually a sofa bed, which is my biggest thing I wanted. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh -uh. what's up with here? What one? What the heck? What's going on here, bruh? Hmm, this is interesting because you know, in that box that it came in, there were like some screws that were loose. And I'm like, where did these screws come from? But now I see where it came from. Like what? Lord, let me see, did I, did I miss something here? It better be me and not them because I know I didn't wait for all this. Okay, so I got one side to slide back on, but I am just not understanding how to get this side to slide back on. So basically I lifted this up and slid this back on, but you can see this is like kind of wobbling. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I took a picture cause you can clearly see that there's little holes for screws on the metal part of this, but the screws evidently that's what fell out on the box. 
but I mean that's fine. I took a picture to show Wave here. If they can give me like a little refund, refund, whatever, that'd be fine. I'm not about to have y'all send me a replacement. This is a decent size. <laughs> I was just so worried that like, you know, it wasn't gonna be wide enough because I saw a lot of couches where like, you just put the back down and it's a sofa couch, but those were not cutting it because they were so small, you know? This is a decent size. Like, put some sheets, some comforters, you gotta, ooh, yes. So I'm very much happy because being quite honest, two little kids gonna sleep on here. Like, here's your bed and here's your bed. Or one grown adult can sleep here. I am five, six, and when I'm all the way up here, I still have some, oh y'all can see, I still have some space down there. So I would say this is probably about like six feet, which is, you know, pretty long. So I mean, if you got long legs, you could definitely fit here. I'm here for it. And in terms of the softness, it's pretty like, I mean, it's firm, but like, you're not gonna break your back. You feel me? Like this is a big, I mean, this is a new mattress. So like, you can't expect it to be the softest, but I think it's pretty straight. like. It's not hard as rocks. It's um, it just feels like you got a brand new. So I'm sure once it's broken in, I'll be fine. But yes, I'm excited. And this color, I'm here for red. So to pull it back in, you take it up, push it down, then push back in. And there you have it. First impressions of the couch, love it. The first thing I was so happy to see was the color. It's definitely true to color. I'm loving this color with the green background. I was a little bit worried that it'd be like too much green, but yeah, gonna get some more throw pillows. And I'm excited. Like this is very cute, very cute. All right, so this is the end of the video guys. All in all, I would say I'm very satisfied with this purchase. Um, I love the color, the quality is great. I love, 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 oh my gosh, I'm so happy about how much space it gives you when you're putting it in the sleeper version. It's very wide enough if you have a wide, I almost said client, if you have a wide guest, they will be able to be well accommodated on this couch. Um, it was a great price point as well. I'll put like a screenshot on the side so y'all can like have the details. And I'll also put a link in the description if anybody's interested in purchasing. But yeah, if you stayed this far, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts on this couch and I'll catch you guys in the next one.